Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is a pillow box and it's a completely handmade pillow box and the principle of making one, very easy, but I'm making one with the new DSP Moonlight paper stack and that's this one. This one is in the main catalogue. There is another one um, and this is the Moonlight one and it's lovely and it kind of, it really is all about the new in colours and I love it. And the paper is six and a half by four and a half inches which is 14.6 by 16.5 centimeters so if you'd it's not 14.6 it's 11.4 by 16.5 centimeters don't worry about it it'll be all my my blog but if you don't have the, the the paper stacks you can cut yours to size but this is what you need you need it to be four and a half um inches wide which is 11.4 centimeters or 11.5 that kind of size and you need your scoring tool to make this size box but like I say the principle of it doesn't really make a difference but on the short side definitely the short side we're going to score it at two inches and four inches which is five centimeters and ten centimeters that's all you need a scoring tool for <gasps> love it right then you need some thick paper now I have got a great big wadge of my grid paper here I'm going to fold my score lines gently at this stage, fold them over and I'm going to tuck that bit in, that's what is going to be uh, where we put our adhesive. Fold that down and then get something circular. You could use a plate, you could use a lid, you could use anything. I'm using our pot of buttons because actually it doesn't squish and that's only because when I was making the prototype I couldn't be bothered to walk to the kitchen. Aren't I a heathen? Right, what you need to do is you need to line this edge up here with the top of your paper and you will have a slope. Let me see if I tip it around that way if the daylight is showing better. You, that's the lighting, it's rubbish. Line it up there so that you've got a slope there and there. Grab a pencil, I'm gonna to have to turn it back so I can see what I'm doing. Grab a pencil and lightly draw around. And then the same on the other end. So just draw around, oops, with a pencil that works. And that is where we're going to cut. So a long pair of scissors. Do not try and do this with paper snips because you'll just, you want to try and get it in one long flow. You don't want to be snip, 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 snipping. That just, it, it would not be easy. There we go. So one fluid motion. She says that she has to reposition her scissors. There we go. That's what you do. Then you come back with your pot and you position it so that you're touching this edge here to where we've just snipped off there and there. Go no further down and again using your thick pad and this time you come in with your scoring tool. I'm holding this pot really hard because I don't want it to slip and I'm going to score hard. You can see how hard I've gone. I've gone all the way through, which is perfect. That's what I wanted. I wanted it to score both sides. Can you see that? And then the same. So what you're creating is sort of an elliptical shape. But like I said, I'm pushing hard because I don't want the pot to move. And again, another ellipse. And that, I might have to re go over this one. No, I should be okay. So when you gently manipulate, and be gentle because it is paper, these will fold in. There we go. And I'm being gentle. That will fold in. Now we've obviously got too much paper here that would get all tangled up. So you just come along, chop it off. Doesn't matter how much you take off, but just chop it off. And then stick it down with your adhesive of choice. I'm going to grab snail because you know I like to use that for speedy purposes. Fold it over, close it up, and then when you fold these parts in, that bit's just gone in, that bit has just gone in. Love it. And the same over here, that one in, that one over the top. Pillow box made. And it doesn't matter how big it is. Obviously, if it was a wider piece, that would be, you know, if you wanted to have a, a a pillow box that finished at that size this isn't going to be big enough you'd need a you know a dining plate for that but that is the principle you just need something that is round and that you you match up the images both sides 
Right, little tiny, tiny bit of stamping because you know it's stamping up. I'm a stamping up demonstrator, and I have got, I had got Project Life. I've used this a few times before. I love it, and I'm going for the XOXO because I'm going to fill these with sweetie treats for my little boys. Hence the manly boyish sort of patterns for them. And so the XOXO for them. And I've got Blackberry Bliss. I love this ink. A few people have said it is quite dark and prefer the second stamping because this is one of these ones that you stamp it once, stamp it twice, stamp it a third time and the colour, quite it, it's quite dramatic in the changes. I personally like the dark. Well, actually, I like all three of them and I'm going to stick with the dark. But I know some people have said, oh, I like the paler ones as well. Let's cut that out with the large oval punch. You see, that's just as pretty. Let's punch this out and hold it over. It's just as pretty on there, isn't it? Anyway, did you see that? Yes, it's just as pretty, but we'll go with this one, the original colour. And then this scallop oval on a piece of the Black Bliss. Some dimensionals on here. One on the back of that, one over the top. And one on there ready, and I'm going to tie my ribbon, which is under here. And again, the Blackberry Bliss. This is Hello Honey, and actually the pale blue that you can see in the background is the uh, Lost Lagoon colour. Tie the ribbon on. Oops, I've just that's just gone straight off camera because it's just shot into my tummy. <laughs> okay, tie that on. And they're boys. I have little boys. They're not going to want bows, which is good. Just can't hide them. The so knot is fine. Trim it off. And this is um, this ribbon is called stitched satin ribbon. It's lovely. And it's got a, such a silky feel. It's really rather nice. And then the little XO XO on there. And that's two done. And you have two more to do for them. But it is easy. A, a pillow box. Who knew it was that easy? I didn't. Anyway, I hope you like it and I hope you have fun making pillow boxes too. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.